Hi, how are you? So for those people who doesn't know me, uh, my name is Florencia D'Antonio. I'm a doctor and I work with Ayurveda and nutrition. So today I'm going to speak about a little bit about a, a disease which is endometriosis. It's a disease of the women and it's something that we really, women, uh, it's very common to suffer from. So in this, uh, in this disease the women will suffer from pain in the belly and also from uh, bleeding, important bleeding during the um, during his her period okay so this is very important and very and very disgusting for the women and is uh, the these symptoms are very nasty for her she cannot really have a normal day uh, when she has her period so this is very important so in this disease uh, most of the doctors uh, offer one type of treatment which is the surgery Okay, so because this illness is actually the uterus um, tissue emigrates to other parts of the body, uh, to other organs of the body, mostly the organs uh, which are in the pelvis, okay, it's like, um, like the ovario, okay. So the, the most important treatment that Western medicine offers is the surgery. So we can also do something with um, alternative medicines like Ayurveda, for example. So we can do a lot of things about uh, the food we eat and also by paying attention to what we think because uh, what we think, if it's a negative thinking, it can bring a negative emotion and that can hurt us, okay? And give us a disease like this, for example. So at the beginning I will speak about the what we can do about nutrition and how can we help in this disease about what we eat okay so it's this disease is very related with estrogens so there are kind of some kind of foods which are really um, going to make our estrogens come up like this and that won't be that won't be good in this disease so all animal products we all animal products are related to this disease that includes all type of meat, like cow, like pig, like fish, like chicken, all kind of meat will increase the estrogens and will make us this disease become um, like this, you know, with all these kind of symptoms. Also cheese, dairy, uh, also eggs. So we have to try or we should avoid this kind of food, okay? Also we should avoid the, um, the food which are refined, like for example, white sugar, uh, white bread, and white rice. Also food which contains uh, trans fat, uh, which for example we can find it in the, in the margarine, and all in products which are industrial, like for example in breads, industrial breads, industrial cookies, which will have this trans fat which are very 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 bad for the for the health so I don't really consider this eating this kind of food for anyone okay but including in this disease it's very um, it's very not a well idea to eat it okay because it will bring more pain and more bleeding okay so the idea is to consume more legumes more vegetables more fruits and uh, to reduce more nuts, more good oils like olive oil um, and um, more nuts, more um, lentils, uh, more uh, bagwheat, you know, like this kind of food. And to eliminate this food derived uh, like meat and dairy and eggs, okay? So if you are really following a diet with animal products, what you can do is to uh, avoid this kind of food during the first, before the first week of your period, okay? So you know when it's going to be your period, so the first week you just avoid them. And try all the whole months, try to eat more vegetables and more fruits and more nuts and more, and avoid all these other foods which really they don't nourish you 
and they will affect you more. So other thing you can do is to add uh, um, a juice with carrots during the first week of the period, before, the first week before the period, okay? Oh, there are also some plants which are very good for this um, and the price but also what we can see in this women maybe there are a lot of women which they really eat well and they are vegan or vegetarian they eat very well and they still have these symptoms so we have to pay attention to what we think okay because uh, negative thinking will bring negative emotions and that if we are doing this very very long time ago we can we can bring our own disease that's for sure so we have to think what we really think what we really want from us for us now so what i am what i'm doing now is what i really want for me or i'm doing this because my family my husband someone else wants something different from me so it's very important to take a look to what we think and what we really want because in this disease it, they are find some antibodies against their own body so it's like it's like saying that something in the women is not being accepted that something is being rejected so this is one area we can have a look to what I am thinking about being a woman and what do I really want for me? Am I doing the things I want for me? Or I'm just following someone else's dream, someone else's wishes? So that's very, very important. That's why this disease is very from this period of time. Because nowadays women have another type of role. Uh, later it wasn't like this. Later women just stay in home, uh, take care, take care of the kids, and and cook, and nothing else. But nowadays, women are being professional. Women have their own, have their own business. Women also take care of the kids, but they have other things too. So we have another role. But in in our mind, maybe, or in the mind of this person that is suffering from this disease, in this mind, maybe there's still the idea of the women who has to stay at home. So we have to take very, very deep what we think about being women, what we want from us, for us, and what we are really doing. We have to take to think on that, to deeply think on that, because it's, most of the time it is hide, and we cannot really get into this. We don't really notice this. We are not really aware of this. So it's very important to take a look to think what we're really thinking, to take a look to our thinking, so we can really make um, make these thoughts come out of light and heal. That is very, very, very important. So I hope you understand this tiny video, and I hope this is useful for you. And uh, well, I, did, I am now in a very beautiful park in London. This is unbelievable. It's very huge. And uh, this is in the middle of the of the place of the city, which is super big. And actually, here you can hear the birds, and it's very, very nice and beautiful. So I hope you have a very good day, and I hope this this is clear for you and is useful also. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.